All they gotta do is give y'all a pretty background cover photo and y'all ready to go to the company. A lot of these companies in Chicago are doing this right here. I ain't gonna lie, it look good though. They got the pretty truck in the background. Pay rent, 1300 a week. Oh, you mean to tell me I'm just paying 1300 a week on the truck? Boy, and I'm bringing home 5000 Oh, see, most people fall for that. Some of y'all really think if you pay $1,300 a week that you can bring home $5,000. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Let's just jump right into this one, man. You, you, you just can't believe everything you see, everything that is presented to you on social media, especially on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not sure about TikTok, but it is heavy on Facebook and Instagram. These black op companies, man, they just promoting to you they showing you these pretty trucks. They showing you these big numbers and they just enticing you to just jump right into their sector. Don't fall for the banana and the tailpipe. You're not gonna fall for the banana and the tailpipe? <laughs> I'm telling you, do not fall for the banana and the tailpipe. You're not gonna fall for the banana and the tailpipe? <laughs> Listen, they got companies out here that's advertising that, hey, you can rent the own. Become your own boss by renting to own the truck. Blackout, how, how much is rent you say? Rent is $1,300 a week. What? How much money am I gonna make out of that? You can go home with a cool $5,000 a week. <laughs> five thousand dollars a week and that's after you pay the 13 but what they're not telling you is that for that cool five thousand dollars a week which they're going to entice you with you you're going to be crossing all types of lines you, you're going to be crossing all types of boundaries man you're going to be crossing all types of illegal stuff sleep Oh, you might as well forget that. You might as well forget that. You, you're not sleeping. You're running 24 hours a day. You want to know why? Because you're rocking out with a black ops company that's going to finagle your laws. How you think you're going to get that $5,000 a week, bro? Come on, really? In these times, in this crisis, where freight rates is low, and stuff like that five thousand dollars man for real for real you'll be real but that's what these black op companies entice you with they entice you with it you jump on there you say hey i like it let's go it looks good it looks good and once you've seen it once you hear it y'all ready to go y'all ready to to, to to pay for your own flight you're ready to pay for your own hotel y'all ready to pay for your own food just to get there and find out that that pretty truck that they was showing you on the ad turns out to be a garbage truck that somebody else had. You get in that truck and it, it smell of smoke, feet, and funk. Oh, that pretty truck that was on the ad, it was a 2024 though, right? Automatic, everything, bells and whistles. Nah, nah, the truck that you getting into, it's a manual with the front bumper missing. And you got to take that to TA so that they can repair whatever situation that, that somebody had before it. Yeah, that's what these black op companies do to you guys, man. And you guys fall for the okie doke every time. Congratulations. You played yourself. $5,000? Oh, that's great. And, all, and that's after I paid the $1,300 for renting a garbage ass truck that somebody else had. And it was supposed to be a brand new, but you're renting to own, you want to be your own boss. See, that's how they get you. They get you with these big numbers. Oh, you can make $5,000 a week. Oh, you can make $2,500 a week. Oh, you can make $3,000 a week. Really? Wow. But trust me, you're not going to be getting home every week. $5,000? You're not going to be getting home every month. $5,000? I'll 
I, I say your first sight of home time will be next year. You're going to be working. You're going to be driving. You're going to be driving 24-7 for $5,000 a week. And then it all bottom out. Because it's all part of the plan. And here you are talking about how shysty and how scammy and how these companies out here that's taking advantage. Here you are talking about giving your story on how you was taken advantage of. But you fell for the banana in the tailpipe. You're not gonna fall for the banana in the tailpipe? <laughs> you saw the big number. And that's how they got you in. They got you in with the numbers, bro. They got you in with the numbers. You, you probably made that in the first couple of weeks. And then after that, if we're trying to get some loads for you, maybe if you take this 50 cent mile load, and then we'll try to find another $3 a mile load. Yeah, but I thought you told me I would get $5,000 a week. This, this, this ain't what I signed up for. Of course not. Of course that's what you signed up for. You signed up for the okie doke. You signed up for it. You signed up for it. You wanna know how they got you in? They got you in with them big numbers. That's how. Congratulations, you played yourself. And, and the fact that they're offering you a chance to become your own boss. But how are you gonna become your own boss if you're still running up under somebody a company because you're renting their truck. You paying them. Here's the thing to understand. That company that you probably renting the truck from, they probably already made their money. Now it's time for them to sit back, relax, and chill in Costa Rica while they got somebody across the seas finding dispatches for you. They already made their money. So by enticing you to come on with the $5,000 a week and all you gotta pay is $1,300 a week for a bum ass truck that they already drove into the ground, now they're giving you the opportunity to become your own boss. Think about that next time you see a company offering $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a week. And all you got to do is, is pay a little bit for the truck. Think about that. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.